What we're going to look at this time is double unit conversions, and these are a little bit more complicated than the ones in my dimensional analysis video. And this time we have two units that need to be converted. In this example, a paintball gun shoots paintballs that are around 300 feet per second, or FPS. What would this equal in miles per hour? So when we're looking at this problem, we have to be able to not only con convert a distance unit, but also a time unit. When you're looking at these labels, feet per second, remember that the feet per second per is just another way to think of a division problem. It's feet over seconds. So it's going to be 300 feet over one second. That's how fast that paintball is moving, 300 feet every second. Now we're going to be able to, now we're going to need to convert this to miles per hour. And again, miles per hour just means miles over hours, miles divided by hours. So let's look at the, our, our conversion table on the right hand side here. And what we're going to need to do first is find a way to get rid of our feet and get closer to our miles per hour. So I see that one mile is 5,280 feet. So I'm going to put 5,280 feet at the bottom. That way we'll have a canceling of the feet units. And at the top, I'm going to put one mile. All right, so now I have miles over seconds. I've converted to miles over seconds, but we need to get to miles per hour. So now we're going to convert the time. And to do that, i got to do, let's see, seconds here. And I have a conversion to one minute to 60 seconds. So I'm going to put 60 seconds at the top one minute on the bottom. This way, I'm going to keep crossing off those units that get canceled out. And right now I have miles over minutes. I'm going to do one more conversion now. This time I'm going to take one hour equals 60 minutes to get rid of those minutes. I'm going to put the 60 minutes, to change back to my yellow color to keep it consistent, 60 minutes over one hour. And this time, as I do that, cross off minutes. I look at what I have left in the terms of units. I have miles over hours. Remember, look at this line as a dividing line between the numerator on the top and the denominator on the bottom. So now I have miles over hours. And this will allow me to figure out the answer. OK, all we need to do now is take the numbers in the numerator and multiply those together, get that product. And then we're going to divide that by the product of the denominator. So I'm going to type in 300 times, I don't need to times 1, multiply by 1, so 300 times 60 times 60. 60 times 60 equals, there's, an, there's our product, I'm going to divide that by the denominator, which is, you can see, 1 times 5,280 times 1 times 1, so I'm just going to put 5,280. And that gives me the product or the answer here of 204.5 miles per hour. 204.5 miles per hour. And there's our solution. So you can see using this, I was able to go from, okay, that gun shoots these paintballs at 300 feet per second. How fast is that in miles per hour? That's over 200 miles per hour. That's, that's coming pretty fast out of that paintball gun. So using this method, you can see how you're able to cross off those units that you don't need, and you're left with the ones. I'm going to circle them here. The only ones left over, you notice, that are not crossed off are what we're trying to find, in this case, miles per hour. So I hope this method helps you. I hope that you're able to uh, not be intimidated by these types of problems. I plan on making more videos, uh, definitely concentrating on things like conversions and things that um, are difficult for a lot of people. So please subscribe, leave comments, uh, ask me questions, make requests, and I appreciate you watching the video. Take care. Thanks.